Let's go back to our earlier conversation with the uh, PRO of the Ambulance Service, Simmons Quirrell, who's joining us on phone. Uh, good afternoon. Thanks for your time. I was trying to say that um, your response in the earlier release didn't appear to answer the questions of Ghanaians. Now, would you want to clarify with regards to the investigations ongoing? Hello? Hello? Yeah, Simmons, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Great. So uh, I would like you to clarify on your release with, with regards to the uh, investigations that are currently ongoing. Okay. Yes, uh, thank you. Uh, the release is uh, meant to explain the circumstances, uh, 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 to explain after our investigation, when we investigated into that very video, Mm. So the release is to explain what you have seen and then to also tell the general public that uh, those, the ambulance is our ambulance and the people who were using the ambulance at that time were not our staff. They are workers for Nana Fusu gearbox specialists based at uh, Mampurubi here in Accra. And then the whole problem was that, you know, the ambulance developed a fault some time ago in October. Mm. So we, 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 we draw the attention of Service Ghana Auto Group Limited, who are the suppliers, the principal suppliers of the ambulances when procured for government of Ghana. So these people maintain the ambulances because we still have a, a warrant on them and we have three year warrant. So the warrant is still within the three years. So any ambulance that would evolve a fault, it is the uh, service Ghana that have to uh, fix the program. Okay, so, so when saying, we send Simmons, this ambulance Simmons, to you're saying that service Ghana, they Simmons, also if, if send I may, it to the Nakusu gearbox to Simmons, fix it for them. Simmons, if so I may. in the process, Hello, uh, Simmons, the, can you hear me? took the ambulance for trial after they have fixed it and drove far to Bujumburam and cut the cement. Simmons. So that is how it happened. Okay. So we want um, Ghanaians to understand ambulance, ambulance service staff are not involved and we also caution them they need to stick to their business. Their core mandate of ambulance is to carry patients to the hospital and mm. not to engage in other illegality like carrying goods like what we have seen in the video. Okay. That's it. Can you hear me, Simmons? Yes, I can hear you. Right. You're saying that uh, your the ambulance in question has a three-year warranty and it's from the uh, uh, Service Ghana Auto Group. So if it developed any fault, why then send it to a third party? I can't hear, I can't hear that. What? From, from your statement, you're saying that uh, those are not the staff of the ambulance service. So mm. uh, the question then begs is, how did they uh, acquire the vehicle to uh, do whatever they were doing? And you're talking about a gearbox problem. So, yes. and, and the, the I, vehicle, I, the vehicle I if, I may, if I may, Simmons, and the vehicle here in question is still under warranty. So why not just send the vehicle back to the service providers that you did indicate that this was from the uh, Service Ghana Auto Group? Yes, the Service Ghana Auto Group are the service providers. So are you saying so that uh, uh, it, staff of the Service Ghana Auto Group are the ones that are using the ambulance to convey cement bags? For uh, let me explain here. The uh, Service Ghana are the uh, service providers. So we gave the ambulance to them. We draw the attention. So they have took custody of the ambulance. Mm -hmm. So they have sublet that ambulance to Nana Fusu to fix the gearbox, not National Ambulance Service. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So it is an issue or a contact between um, Service Ghana and that of Nana Fusu. Okay. So basically, uh, you would say that it is the staff of the service Ghana who actually uh, caused this, if, if I'm right. It is 
You see, uh, when the, car, uh, the ambulance was sent to Nana Fusu by Service Ghana, and service, uh, Nana Fusu fixed the, after they have fixed the gearbox, they then want to try the car, according to them. So on test drive. So they drove far away to that place, Budubura. Mm. So, so it is the staff or the mechanics of Nana Fusu mm. who are working for Service Ghana. Who have drove the car to that place? Okay, but then that begs the question: Wouldn't the ambulance service have their own garage to fix some of these issues? Ambulance service has a garage. We have garages in uh, Accra, in Kumasi, in Tamale, and Takradi. But these ambulances, because they are still under warranty. Unless, if you want to, we, our uh, mechanics, we even attend to the fault. We, we have to get authorization from Service Ghana before we can do. Mm. We will report the fault to them. Our mechanics will point out the fault to them. All right. But before it, can, it could be fixed, it is the duty of uh, Service Ghana to authorize Ghana uh, ambulance service staff or mechanics to do that work. Okay. All right. Many thanks for your time. Uh, for that update there, Simmons Kura is the PRO of the National Ambulance Service.